What's up? It's your girl Danny DMC. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are part of the Confidence Crew. What's up my crew? I love you guys. If you are not a part of the Confidence Crew, don't worry. You can be. Just make sure you hit that big juicy red button screen subscribe to you below. But I want you to be confident that decision like all things in life. So wait, watch this entire video. And I guarantee by the end of it, you'll be running to be a part of the crew and hit that subscribe button. Okay, you guys. So as you can tell from the title below, we're doing something new this week. And I'm so excited. We are doing my beauty maintenance routine this week. And I can't wait. I have to go over my schedule with you guys and tell you all of the appointments I have booked this week. But T-Bell and I are going on a huge international trip on Saturday. So I have all of my beauty routine appointments scheduled. And they were so supposed to start today but I had one change in my schedule or a couple changes so they really are the beautification is gonna start tomorrow but there's a couple things happening today I want to tell you about as well we're gonna go through my calendar um, I just finished filming a bunch of stuff with T-Bell and filming for brands and doing my work and I'm just really excited to get beautified this week this is like so important for us as women like this self-care routine this beautification routine and even if you're not someone that gets their nails and lashes done or you can't afford to spend it's a lot of money okay to maintain this beauty baby you can do them at home and you can do them for yourself and you can do them on a budget you can go to the dollar store and find so much stuff so i'm going to give you tons of tips and tricks this whole video to take care of yourself and i just want the whole theme of this video to be dousing ourselves in self-love self-care self admiration self obsession honestly baby okay so i know you guys i got a new camera i got the sony zv e10 with um a e1.4 15g lens and it is heavy like i'm holding you guys on a tripod right now and i'm like shaking i should have put you on a standstill tripod um let me do that and i'll be right back i know you guys saw my wavering laziness um in that last clip also t-bell's making me some breakfast right now which is so nice Whenever I start filming, I just like go into work mode and I completely forget about eating, which is not good. And luckily I have a beautiful man that takes care of me. I was doing my makeup and he's like, he comes in and he's like, do you want some toast? I was like, sure. Some avocado toast? Yeah, that sounds really good. You want an egg on it? I'm like, okay, is this a five star breakfast joint? Like I'm ready. Um, okay, so I wanna tell you guys. Sorry. Once I touch my phone, it's over with because I have so many texts, so many emails. My life is chaos. I should also do a weekly, let me not throw my phone at you, a weekly work routine. That could be really good. To, I mean, okay, I basically do that with my day in the life of a plus size influencer, plus size model. I've also done a week in a life, I think. Yeah, I did a week. Did I do a week in a life? So I should do a week in a life if I have it. And I'm going to do another one even if I have. If you guys have seen those videos, comment below if you love them, if you want more of them. And yeah, it's pretty rare that I get like all of my beautification appointments done in one week unless I have travel coming up. I usually like bounce them around so it worked out perfectly. So let's go through my schedule. Today, um, I wait, no, tomorrow, today, <laughs> what, who am I? Today's Tuesday, I was thinking it was Monday. Okay, so today I was supposed to have a massage at 11 and it actually worked out, or no, at one, 1 p.m., which actually worked out because I have something else planned. Um, but unfortunately we had to reschedule. Another part of my beautification self-care routine tonight is I have therapy at 5 p.m. I love my therapist. I've been with her since 2018 or beginning of 2019 now. I just love her. She honestly has changed my life. Okay, so instead of getting a massage because I got changed, I am going to test drive slash check out my dream car. Was I there yesterday? Yes. Um, I went to Encino Mercedes-Benz which is iconic. Grayer is the one, the guy that's been helping me. I love him. G-R-A-Y-R. -R. I'll put all this in the description box below too. And then Danny, the general manager. I want a new car and I want my dream car. Cause like, why should I settle? You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, yesterday I test drove today. We're going back to test drive again and to talk some logistics and, you know, see what we can do. So I'm going to take you guys with me to that. So you'll see a little sneaky peek. Um, you're going to probably see what car is my dream car, but I, my, my dream is to order the car and fully customize it the way I want. I'm a car girl. You guys like, I love cars. If you don't know, I drive a Jeep now. I've done so much to it. I put it on a lift kit. It has 4G auto rims. If you know, you know, I love 4G auto rims. Um, and I just love making a car. Like, just like how I like interior design. I like to make the whole you dig. Okay. So that's today. We don't have anything super crazy going on today with beautification tomorrow, 11 AM facial. 
Um, and I'm probably gonna get microneedling because when I don't break out, when my look at my skin. I think I posted, by the time you guys see this, I will have posted me doing this makeup on Instagram as a reel. And my, this, this makeup is, it's it, okay? It's like natural, but like I did all the steps. I didn't leave anything out and just like, I'm obsessed. Um, okay, so getting a facial, microneedling, please hold my hand. Thursday, the 8th, 9 a.m. I have to go pick up our passports because we're getting a visa for where we're going. And so yeah, 9 a.m. pick up for that. 11 a.m. we're going to Riverside, so actually I have to leave at 10 a.m. It's an hour away to my girl Des. We're doing nails. If you guys have not noticed, I don't have nails on, which is a tragedy, but I've been letting them breathe. We're gonna do a super dope set for my trip. I almost just told you where it was. Um, 1 p.m. I have a call I have to take with my mom. And yeah, okay, so pretty much nails is that day. That's like the big one. Friday, haircut. I'm ready to cut all this hair off. I was like, oh, I'm gonna grow it out. Like, and grow it out means just like having my curls in the front, like it's still short, but I need it short, short. Like, especially it's hot for the summer. No, I like it when it's really short. I think it looks the best. Saturday, lash appointment, 10 a.m. And then the next day we leave. So I'll show a little bit of like packing and stuff I have going on between that. So we have hair, nails, lashes, massage. I might try and sneak that back in there. Facial, um, yeah, so a lot of things. And I'm so excited to take you guys along this process. So I'm gonna get dressed and then the next time I see you, we will be headed to Encino Mercedes Benz to go test drive and discuss my new car. <laughs> Whenever I talk in a baby voice, I'm excited, okay? Um, so yeah, let's get this beautification self-care routine week started, all of that. Let's go, Mwah. Okay, you guys, craziest thing happened because I'm getting used to this new camera and everything that I shot in these next clips was shot in slow motion. So I was able to speed it up in editing so it's normal, but I lost all of the audio. So it's okay, here we are with voiceovers. So that's Grayer I'm introducing you to right now. He's my guy at Mercedes-Benz Vincino and I am currently in my dream car, okay? We are in a Mercedes-Benz 2023 G550 that has never been owned and it's incredible black on black which is not my dream um we've decided to build my dream car which i'll touch on later but this is me test driving it and it was insane the only sad part that i feel right now is that you guys could not hear this car turning on the purr the sounds like i was just shook by all of it this was my second time test driving it i test drove it the day before and I just said, me and Grayer had so much fun. He was showing me all the like luxurious little details of this car. And I keep joking to my friends that like literally from my big toe to my thumb, everything I touch is luxury. Here I'm going into sport mode. He had me do this yesterday and you can go so fast. I was between the G550 and G63, but the G63 you're paying so much more money for a car that I just personally don't need. Here I'm telling you guys, I remember this, how fat friendly this car is. I was talking about how my Jeep is definitely very tight on my hips and I have so much space in this car. It's definitely a wider car and I love it. It's so comfortable, so luxurious. Here I am going around the corners. I just like felt like a little kid. I'm such a car girl, you guys. And like this car is just impeccable. Like they're built. They're one of the only cars that's still like completely assembled from the ground up handmade. Honestly, a hundred out of 10. Here I am in the office. This is Danny, the general manager. Freaking love him. When you guys come to Mercedes Benz Vincino, ask for him, ask for Grayer. They hooked me up. I'm showing you, I'm about to go from a Jeep to a Benz, baby. And Danny was just, honestly, he was the best. I was there from 12 p.m., around 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. that day, negotiating, talking logistics, selling my car to them. And you guys know I'm a tough cookie. I don't play. She's a negotiating god. But they were so patient and worked with me so well. And me and Danny just had so much fun. I like got to know everybody there and became like part of the family. And it was honestly such a fun day and a day I will remember forever. Here I am getting ready to go because I've decided to lease this black car until I got a phenomenal deal. Lease this black car until my car comes because they're building my car. So it's gonna come in about November, hopefully maybe October. But I'm telling you guys that I'm really sad because my baby, I had to give my Jeep up, which don't get me wrong. I am sad, but I'm like way more happy than sad. Um, this Jeep, we had a great ride, but we went through a lot together. You know what I'm saying? And I'm ready for a luxurious upgrade. The G-Wagon has always been my dream car. And even when I got the Jeep, I got the Jeep because it was a way more affordable option that still looked like it and, you know, was had that rugged off-road vibe. Here I am saying goodbye to my car. I definitely needed to take a moment, give her love and gratitude for serving me and keeping me safe and our journey together, allowing me to customize her and have fun with her. 
but it's time, baby. Even the 4Gs. But out with the old, in with the new. I'm so excited. I never in a million years thought this would happen. So here Grayer is showing me the different door sounds. I wish you could hear this because the Jeep is so like, ugh. And then the G-Wagon is like crisp glass. So huge shout out to Mercedes Benz of Encino for making my dreams come true. Good morning. We have a new background. Okay, yesterday I went and filmed me test driving my dream car and a lot of things happened. I look back on the footage. I have a new camera, so I'm filming now. I told you guys yesterday, I think, the ZV-E10. Um, it's Wednesday also, I didn't say that. But I look back on the footage and it was all in slow motion. So I'm gonna see, hopefully in editing, I can speed it up. Um, fingers crossed, if not, I'll catch you guys up here. Um, but as you can see, we have a new background. Big things happened yesterday. And like, honestly, I really want to gatekeep this and not tell anyone about it, just hold it so dear to myself. But I was already vlogging and we were test driving my car. So I'm going to tell you guys, but I don't think I'm going to announce it on TikTok and Instagram. So like, shh, keep it, a, keep it a secret. I'm one of those people, you guys, that I hope you know and see that like on social media, I'm not a huge person that really enjoys bragging. Um, so a lot, a lot, a lot of things I keep to myself, like a lot of big moves I keep to myself, um, because sometimes it feels better when you can like marvel in it and not need to like, you know, scream it to everyone. But this is crazy. So I've always wanted a G-Wagon my entire life. I feel like it's just like a dream. Um, and I'm now in a G-Wagon. I am in this up sorry i am in um a g550 2023 brand new no one has ever driven it before it's black on black and it that is not my dream car and you're probably like well why are you driving it so basically we worked out a crazy deal i'm leasing this car for the next like four to six months until my car comes in we fully customized it i'm not gonna tell you guys how because it's gonna be a surprise i'm gonna make a whole video on it don't worry um but my actual car will be coming hopefully before or around november and I get to drive this beauty until then, which is so exciting because I've never had or wanted a black on black car, but it is so sexy. And like, I love, not that colors are like identified with masculinity and femininity, I'm not really about that. But um, I feel like a black car is so masculine. Like I love masculine looking cars um, and just like rugged type cars, the boxy, like that's why I love this. Um, but yeah. This car is epic, and when I get my actual car, obviously I will make a whole video about it and show you how epic it truly is. Um, but until then, <laughs> catch me in this black on black thing, okay? Ah, I'm so excited to get my actual car, and I'm so excited that I'm in a G-Wagon. This is actually ridiculous. It was really sad saying goodbye to my car, I'm not gonna lie. I loved my Jeep, she served me well. We had our rough moments, but she did serve me well. But I am on my way. We're on our next self-care. We're doing all this. I picked Javi up last night and T-Bell, and we went for a joyride. And Javi was like, wow, she's really doing all the self-care this week. It's so amazing. All I FaceTimed Nas last night. She was so happy for me. Like, to just have people around me, they're so happy for me and proud of me. And, like, it's just amazing. I would be lying if I said I didn't wake up and have a little bit of imposter syndrome this morning. Like, am I really doing this? Like, did I actually do this? Like... Can I afford this? I need to make way more money. <laughs> um, but no, I can and I'm doing great and I put a lot of pressure on myself so I deserve to indulge and enjoy. You only live once. That being said, we're on our way to Beverly Hills right now to get a facial. My facialist is sick, but we are getting a facial from someone she recommended in the office, so I'm excited about that. We're getting a hydrofacial at Artisan of Skin on Beverly Hills. I mean, on Rodeo, yeah. On Rodeo in Beverly Hills. And yeah, we'll be there in 20 minutes, so I'll catch you guys then. Also, I just need to give a huge shout out to Mercedes-Benz of Encino, Danny, the general manager, and especially Grayer, who sold me the car. They are amazing, and I was not prepared to get a new car. Like, I wouldn't have if they did not work with me so diligently and, you know, were so patient with me. And I was there for six hours yesterday. 11.30 to 6.15. Is that six hours? You do the math. But yeah, okay, we're going to get a facial. I'll see you soon. Okay, I forgot to show you guys. Sorry, I'm running late. <laughs> but we're walking down Artisan of Skin now. About to get this facial going. This is the office. This is my spot, you guys. I have put so many people on here, it's not even funny. It's the place to be for skin in LA, let me tell you. 
Okay, here we are. Getting a hydrofacial today. So excited. This is my skin before. I have some scarring. We'll see how it looks after. Okay, you guys, I'm here with Ariana. We're about to do hydrofacial. Yes, we are. Will you tell us a little bit about it and like the benefits while you're doing it? Yes, so we just cleansed your face. So this is technically gonna be the second cleanse. And this is gonna just really penetrate deeper into the skin because of the suction. So as you can see, and feel it feels probably, so good. right? You yeah. feel it kind of like lifting. Mm -hmm. It feels really good. It's nice and cold, I like you it. said. It feels kind of like wet kisses. But yeah, like the best way. <laughs> and it's really subtle. It's not too. Yeah, much it doesn't good. hurt at all. Like you don't really feel anything. So it just helps like really clean your pores out. It helps clean your pores. This part specifically is helping the product just penetrate for that deep cleanse. Okay. And the next few steps, we're gonna get a little bit more invasive with the exfoliation. Okay. So it's gonna kind of grab and take off the skin. Also very subtly, but super effective. I, I love, love it. That. So it's not too harsh, right? No. I like that feeling because it like yeah, you're feels like, like you're really cleaning. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's why I think that's why I like microneedling too. It feels like you're actually doing something, even Whereas though it might be painful or like... uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had this one yet, yeah, right? Uh, one? Yes. Oh yeah, I've done it a lot. Yeah, that one's fun. Love, love, love. That feels so good. Mm -hmm. So fresh. You guys, look at my skin. Like, it's so glowy and fresh, dewy. <gasps> I'm obsessed. This is exactly what I needed to cross off my checklist for my trip that I'm getting ready for on Sunday. I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna go get some food, run some errands, and go home, do some laundry. What else do I, oh, I need to watch The Ultimatum, um, the final episode and the reunion so I can talk to Javi about it. I just ran, I should've showed you guys on the vlog, I just ran into Javi. She had an appointment right after me, which we knew. So I got to hug her, even though we live across the street and see each other every day. <laughs> um, it's fun to get a hug in Beverly Hills from your bestie. So yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow on my way to get my nails done. Also, okay, why do my nails look like that? It's the lighting. Um, I need to pick out a design for my nails. Normally I know the day before, but I don't. So I'm gonna figure that out and I'll let you guys know. Good morning! What's up, friends? Um, I have not figured out my vlog situation for this car yet. I need to get one of those tripods that you can like you know, you know, um, that can like mold and adapt to an object. But I'm all the way in Riverside, baby. I took my new car. I'm st I still feel like I'm dreaming on a road trip, her first road trip, which is to my nail girl, Destiny, at my pretty set on Instagram and TikTok. She is one of one. She's actually an icon. She's all the way out in Riverside, but honestly, it's nothing to me. People think I'm crazy because I drive to Riverside, which is an hour from where I live, and my nail appointments usually average three to four hours because I get intricate nails. Um, but I like it. It's a nice time to myself to just like unwind, relax, you know, process my thoughts. And Destiny Studios in home, so it's really cozy. We watch movies, we listen to music. Like it's just us, which is really nice. We kiki, that's my girl. And um, she's so talented. I have never brought her a nail set and her been like, I can't do this or that's too difficult. Like she just, she can do anything. She started in 2020 during COVID and I start, first started going to her in 2021. Her line work, her detail, like her painting skills, it's unreal. Like she is unreal and I just love her. She's a great human. She's a cancer, like my baby T-Bell, you know, I love a cancer. Um, so I'm just waiting for her to finish up her next client, her, her last client. I always get here a little bit early. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm thinking of doing today. Normally I do like really extensive nails. I've been getting my nails done for a long time. 
<laughs> um, I've been getting, I'm just a nail girl. I love nails, you guys. I've been, first time I ever got my nails done, I want to say I was like 11 or 12. I lied to my auntie and told her that my mom said I could get my nails done, like could get acrylics. And um, she lied. I mean, I lied. <laughs> she lied. Destiny just texted me. I think she's ready. Um, she's ready, so I got to go inside. But um, I think we're doing like a clean girl look today. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to show you guys quickly. I, I've been getting pretty like intense or chaotic for lack of better words nails and I really just want like a clean girl Can you guys see that clean girl aesthetic and I saw this set. I won't get them as coffin I want them more square, but it's like a nude um, Like a nude uh, oval nail with like a clear glass acrylic on top, which I do gel X but I love this. So Destiny said we can do it. So let's go make some magic happen, baby. Okay. You can get my voice. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm here at Destiny's chair. Like I told you, it's in home studio, which is so nice. I told them how sometimes we watch movies and of course we kiki, we listen to music, we play new music that's out that Des might like and I might not, aka this is the album that came out at the beginning of the year. Um, that I got so much heat for not being obsessed with. If you guys haven't seen that TikTok, it's pinned. It has like 6 million views now. It's pinned on my TikTok. The girls um, were mad. The girls were mad uh, that I put SZA so low on my list. Um, but yeah, Destiny's about to get me right. This is what we're starting with. Don't judge me. What do you have on your neck? Nothing, but um, I got him taken off and he like didn't fully take them off. And then I just wore these black pants yesterday that like turned them that color. So it's old gel. Yeah. Okay. Like a thin, thin layer. <clears throat> Are you still doing long square? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not like not um London Square or the London Length, right? Did you did double? Yeah, action. not the London Length. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, what's his name again? Um, the Sean. 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 Yeah. Sean. Yeah, not his length. But yeah, we can do that picture I sent you, right? Yeah. Is it hard or? Um no. We'll just I just have to do your application like extremely extremely perfect. Yeah, because it's clear, right? Because it's clear. But how do you do the nude underneath it? Um. Uh, in our case, it wouldn't be underneath, it would be on top. We would have to paint it. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's what she did. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure she did. Des always it. sees things I don't. Me and Des, I'll show her a picture and I'll be like, okay, I want this. And she's like, okay, you realize there's like yellow, silver, and pink in it. And I'm like, what? I saw brown. And she's like, no, look, there's yellow, silver, and pink. And I'm like, oh my God, it is yellow, silver, and pink. You're great. It's like, I feel like it takes like an artist's eye to be able to see like, oh, okay, this is like what it actually is. Yeah, I like that. She's cute. Are you vlogging your whole day? She perfectly recreated the look and now we're doing the clear. Boom! And just like that, we're done, you guys. They look so good. It's giving natural clean girl. So she did clear on underneath them and on top, so it looks like extra shiny. I'm obsessed. I have my length, which I love. They're so clean and pretty. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Should we see them on my new steering wheel? Ah! Ah! Yes. It's giving what it needs to give, friends. Wow, I'm obsessed. Check that off my list. I have a call on the way home I need to hop on right now, and then I have my workout. I'm gonna take you guys to my workout too. I've never uh, filmed or vlogged my F45 workouts. I show them on Instagram all the time, so I'm gonna take you guys to that because that's a huge part of my beauty maintenance self-care routine. And then we're getting our hair cut tomorrow, thank God. So stay locked. Good morning. What's up, friends? It's Friday. Two days till we leave for our trip. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, my nails are fire. Also, I forgot to tell you yesterday, but my toes are done. I have jeans on, so I can't lift my foot up here, but I have a French petty. I always get a French petty. It's like a deep French. Um, I got those done last week. Okay, so full transparency. The reason you didn't see me go to the gym yesterday at 45 is because I didn't go to the gym yesterday. I came home, I was exhausted. I started my period. Um, not very self-care of me body or um, beauty maintenance week. I took a nap and I didn't want to get up. 
which is really rare. I never nap. I'm not usually a, a napper, but I was really exhausted. And also I sat in so much traffic yesterday. It took me like two hours to get home. Normally it takes me 50 minutes. Something was going on on the highway, but I was in my new ride, so I was chilling. But that means that I should go to the gym today. Now I'm deciding, should I go to my gym or should I really kick my own ass and go to F45? There's a 445 class that I could do. However, this is the thing with F45. Tuesdays and Thursdays are um, strength training. Yesterday was Thursday. I haven't been at 45 in over a week. So I usually always, over two weeks, because <clears throat> I was out of town. Um, I really want to get a work in before I leave, work out in before I leave. So whenever I come back after like a little hiatus, I always do a Tuesday or Thursday because it's like easier. <laughs> it's not as crazy as Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are cardio. Wednesdays are the worst days. I don't do Wednesdays. Wednesdays, I like to go to Pilates. I haven't been in a while. I need to get back on that. But Javi and I sometimes do Mondays and Fridays. Okay, so all that being said, today's Friday. And so every couple weeks they change the classes. Can I just tell you what this says? So today is called Tempest. Work up a storm with Tempest, a cardio based workout featuring all of our concept two equipment, the bike, the rower, the skier. Work as a team to complete the targets on the screen. Be warned this cardio workout will blow you away. <laughs> like a part of me just wants to be crazy and do it. Regardless, I need to get a workout in today just for like my own sanity and it just makes me feel better. Before that, we're going to get a haircut and I'm ready, you guys. My hair is like, I need a haircut so bad. It's grown out and honestly, I really want to bleach my hair, but I don't think Aaron's going to let me. Context, if you guys don't know, Aaron cut my hair off in October 2018 and it changed my life. And um, I had blonde hair for my entire life, pretty much. I, I was born with like cream blonde hair, like platinum blonde hair. And I had that until I was probably like 11 or 12 and it just slowly started getting darker and darker and darker. When Aaron first cut my hair, I had highlights and I was blonde. And then we just decided to like go natural and my hair just keeps getting darker. It's crazy. And some days I love it, but recently I've just been like, oh, I need a change, you know? I want something different, something new, some pizzazz, new car, new hair, you know what I'm saying? But Aaron's really in control of my hair. Like, he's the artist, he's the visionary. If he tells me not to do something, I trust him because he's the one that told me to cut my hair off in the first place. So yeah, we have to see what he says, but I definitely wanna go shorter today. My hair is very long right now and it's giving bowl cut. So we need, um. We need some Halle Berry chicness back in our life for this jawline, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go get our hair cut and we're gonna get some workout in together today. So stay tuned for that. Okay, here we are. My favorite place, 134 Robertson. It might be West Robertson. Aaron did this all himself. This is his salon, studio, his baby. I used to go to his house and another salon before that. This is all his. Hello, hello. Let me squeeze your face again. Oh, you're going to do that. Willie. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? You clearly ignored my text, so you hated my idea. I didn't, I couldn't even understand where you were going with that, but yeah. I'm having a 30 year old crisis. Mm -hmm. Not actually, it's not a crisis, it's like a beautiful thing, but. Oh, you <laughs> okay. That looks like Lord no. Christmas and like a can of bleach. Okay, first off, not this cut, not even this color. And honestly, her hair is so much thinner than mine. So like. All valid. <laughs> okay, that being said. Not necessarily today, but also could be today, depending on your thought process. <laughs> I definitely want to go shorter. This whole growing my hair thing out, don't know what I was thinking. Really? I meant to have short hair. Okay. I think. I love you with those curls. T-Bow yeah, fills I, me on this. Yeah. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, it's just not... I'm not Why just have the two men whose opinions you value the most just throw them I to know, the I know, it's just, you know... Ugh. I mean, listen, you look great with short hair. Shortest, I, I wouldn't mind going. I would shave your head, you know? Yeah. And we've talked about that. 
I think that if you were to go uh, as light as you'd like to go, it would be really, really, really short hair. Okay. Because I want the color to be perfect. I want it to lift evenly. So, so one day in the near future, we can go really, really short and take it really, 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 <laughs> really? long. But you know, there's going to be, you know, color on your scalp when we go to um, you know, tone that and you're so heavily allergic. So either A, prednisone in the beginning of that day, talk to your dermatologist, be like, I'm planning on doing this, like what's yeah. going on? Otherwise, I just Because we can't know. use blue shampoo for that. It won't be enough. I mean, you could, you might be blue shampooing like you're a lot too much maybe. You I know. think another thing too, Ty reminded me, is like the maintenance will be a lot. Cause my yeah, hair grows fast. Yes, yes. And not, but that evolution is cool too. Yeah. Because then it gets like a little like coyote like fur kind of, and like you, okay. you it, it it brings out different parts of your personalities. Like when I did that, I felt like a little more punk, or I felt like I can be more edgy, or yeah. like, like I, oh I'm gonna I'm rock this, and so yeah. it kind of influences different things like that. It's just too cool because yeah. it brings out different parts of us, and then you can shave it off. And yeah. then you're back to like kind of your square one again. Yeah, back here. For real. I can't even. That girl's pretty though. Yeah. But that haircut. I know it's a lot. Okay, so what are we thinking today? Short, short, short. We'll bring you back. Do what we got to do to make you feel. How do you want to feel? Oh, that old photo. Hilarious. Where? Right here. Yeah. I know that was like our OG. And just like that, she's bored again. You guys, I love my hair short. It's the best. Can you see? Let me try and show you the back. Did I show you or did I show you nothing at all? It looks so good. It's still a little wet because Aaron put some last minute product in it, but oh, I'm obsessed. I always feel so much better after a haircut. You know, I just feel like revitalized, alive. I can take on the world. Also, like when I do my makeup with a fresh cut, perfect for my trip. I'm obsessed. Aaron's the best. He's my guy for life. So yeah, he wouldn't let me go blonde. <laughs> Love and hate that for me, but I think we're gonna do it. Just maybe my next cut. Cause I didn't book color today. So like you have to book it. Cause he had another client right after me. Um, but yeah, I'm cute. Okay, what time is it? Should I get lunch? Should I go home? It's 12 18. What to do? What to do? I think I'm gonna go home, figure something out for lunch. I'm going to work out today. Hold me accountable. I'm going to work out today. I don't want to, but I'm going to. And I'm gonna feel better after. I always do. So yeah, hair. Check. You guys, this week, what have we gotten done? We got facial, hair, nails. Now I have my lashes tomorrow. And we're done. I did a full maintenance. I also wanna, um, I, I like dermablade my face. I shave it. And I wanna show you like my skin routine. So I think I'm gonna do that tonight. Should I do that tonight? Or maybe after my lashes tomorrow. I'll decide. I also wanna shave a little bit of my eyebrows off. I did that on TikTok a little while ago and they look so much better. It like makes my face sit up a little more. So I'm gonna do that with you guys as well. I'll catch you later. Okay, this is real. What? We're going to the gym. Look how cute I look. Not savage. X Fenty. I recruited, a cr I recruited a crew member. What am I trying to do? Okay, babe. I got T-Ball to come with me. He's cranky because I'm making him go. I don't really want to go. <laughs> but funny. what are you doing? I'm going. Just, <laughs> I'm just gonna walk down there and walk back. Like the game I was going on. I forgot the game was coming on today. 
game four of the finals. Put an eye roll emoji below if you're ready for the finals to be over. You got a man that's too obsessed. Anyway, we're going to work out at 45. I don't know how I made it, but we're here. Do I want to go? No. Am I going to go? Yes. Am I going to feel better after? Absolutely. Station number three, we have the triple switch hold here. So one, two, three on the third one. You want to hold and squeeze that glute the entire time, okay? Station number four, so when you are at the top of your pod here, you want to hit that 350 meter bike urge technique target, okay guys? The 350 is the target. Once we hit that 350 meter mark, then you can go ahead to the back, go to the start of your pod, and everybody just shifts on forward. Literally, all you're doing is just hanging, right? Check forward, not to tight, and just drive the knee on up, making sure that we're all What a okay. handsome man. If the knee drive is too much, just hang. All you're doing is just hang. Station number six, we have the wide belt burpee deadlift here, okay? So we're gonna hinge on over, then we're gonna go ahead and drop the weight on down, kick on back. If you wanna add a push, it, we definitely can. You guys, hands down, that was the hardest F45 class I've ever been to. I told you guys, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are killer, but that? What do you think, sir? Yep, gotta go get my weight lifting in now. He's crazy. But okay, this is a great reminder. When you make a plan with yourself to show up for yourself in any capacity, but when it comes to working out, you gotta do it. Cause if not, the universe is gonna slap you. I was supposed to work out yesterday. I chose to nap. So the universe said, double time. But I'm so glad I did it. Not yet, but it's gonna kick in once I get home. Oh, and this Savage set definitely motivated me. That's why it's so important to wear bomb ass clothes to the gym, especially for someone like me. I feel like it really, it just does something to me. It makes me wanna work harder. I'm not even gonna lie, I can't hold this camera anymore. My arms are shaking. <laughs> but, that, <laughs> but that was crazy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go get a good dinner, drink tons of water. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow for my last appointment of this vlog. Hey. <laughs> can't miss no bitches. Good morning. It is um, Saturday and I just woke up. I'm gonna show you guys a little of my morning routine, although <laughs> I have to leave in less than 30 minutes. Love that for me. Um, I've been working all morning, editing, just uploaded a reel. You know, and I'm just thinking to myself, you know how, like, well, I don't know if you know how, but a lot of content creators I know, some of my friends that I have to be on their ass to just, I like to like host and dip. I'm not one to just like hang on apps really. It's my, it's my work, you know? But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, <laughs> and it's too early in the morning. The point is that for me, the only time I stay on the app is to watch my content. Like I'll watch my reels 15 times. Like I did that. I created that. I edited that like a pro. Like I just be, you guys know I'm cocky, okay? Let me brush my teeth. My uh, toothbrush, I have a Philips Sonicare, so it brushes for two minutes. So I'll see you in two minutes. Next up, we water floss. I can't really show you guys this, but. I have to be over the sink when I do that mouthwash. I only ever wipe my lips off after I mouthwash because you're supposed to leave the mouthwash in your mouth to do its thing. Okay. Running out of time here, but it's all right. So, normally I like really take my time. Normally I really take my time with um, my morning routine, but today I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay, I'm gonna shave my face, I'm gonna dermablade, but the thing is, I've been seeing a lot of people put oil on their face when they do it. I don't have oil, but I have vitamin C serum. So, I'm gonna try that and see. I don't like to put oil on my face, so. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so you pull the skin taut. Oh, 
Ooh, ooh. I love when, like my girl Monet, she always does it. And you can see that it's, um, she has dark hair. Mine are like harder to see, but when you can see them, it makes me so happy. Oh yeah, you can see the orange. Oh, this is a good idea. You can see the orange from the vitamin C. <gasps> this is a great idea. Yeah, great idea to do vitamin C. Oh my God, I can never see like this much of what I'm getting. And then I do a super, super intense skincare routine after this, because obviously everything's like super fresh and open. I like to always go under my jaw too. I get a lot of little blonde hairs under here. Oh, I cut, how did I cut myself already? I move too fast when I do this, that's the problem. Normally I really take my time doing this, but time is not of the essence today. Okay, I think I put enough. My chin is healing from my facial. So this is really good to get dead skin off too. My camera's gonna die soon, I need to charge it on the way to my last appointment. I can't believe we're on the last beauty appointment of this video. Can you guys believe it? Oh, look at all that white hair. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Makeup application after this is stupid. putting any makeup on but in a couple of days it's gonna be iconic when I get to my travel destination I really people like obviously hype this for getting rid of hair amazing but also there's so much dead skin it's not even funny how much dead skin you take off by doing this I love that especially because I just got a facial so um, my skin's like healing and also, these flamingo razors are the best. Like, they are the best. I love the shape of them. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my eyebrow off while doing this. I've kind of become a quick pro at that and it like sits my face up higher. Okay, now we cleanse. And my face is so dry, it's not even funny. I use a benzol cleanser, especially because you really wanna clean your skin after this. doing things people we are doing things okay because my camera's kind of dying i'm just gonna do my full skincare right now with you normally i would get in the shower and then finish okay sorry there's a little blood on this one but look wow honestly so pleasing oh my face stings i'm not washing my hair because i just washed it i got it washed yesterday and cut but normally i don't like to go into the shower it's like a mental thing with my face like done for the day because you could get water on it you don't know what's gonna happen in there but for time's sake and my confidence crew's sake i'm gonna do it clean skin club go to you should sponsor me because I use them and put them on, put so many people onto them. Mm, my skin is looking good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that vitamin C serum and go right back in. All my products are from Artisan of Skin where I get my facials. It's Jan Marini. 
and um i always take my oh, see this is why it sucks i'm about to shower normally i do my this after i shower and i like to take all my face products i usually put them on my butt or my stomach um because a lot of times you like wipe them off on your hands and that's a waste i'm using a little bit of benzol just to make sure i don't break out this is also jan rainy benzol 10 percent and then my face wash is from artisan of skin uh they make it okay then we are doing transformation cream which is my i'm moving way too fast which is my um moisturizer jane rainy as well i really want to moisturize after a fresh shaved face um, okay, under eye cream, water bank blue hyaluronic eye cream from Laneige. I love this. I've bought like, this is probably my fourth one now. Obsessed. I also do a lip mask from Laneige. You'll see it in a second. Love that. I can't believe I'm getting my lashes done, you guys. I haven't gotten my lashes done since before COVID. Lash extensions. Um, my lashes are super, I think I told you this. My lashes are super long, but they're blonde. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's hard to see them. I'm putting a little healing balm on just because my face is going to be a little raw from cutting it. This is a post-treatment balm that I get at Artisan of Skin. And if you guys don't live in LA, you can order all of these products um, online. You can even get like a ritual consultation, I'm pretty sure. They were doing that during COVID, but I think they still kept it up. Oh, yeah. This stuff makes me so glowy. It's like the best bomb. Love it for my neck too. Okay, lip. This is the only one I like, the Lip Sleeping Mask. It's the berry one. I don't like the other flavors. Love that. Okay, and then the last step, cannot forget, is sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen. I also get this from Artisan of Skin. It is the Sun Better Advanced Mineral SPF 75 Tone Smart Skin Better Science. Unreal, it matches your skin tone. It's amazing. I'm gonna wait until after my shower to put this on. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll catch you guys in the car on the way to our lash appointment. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Okay, you guys, what's up? I just got here, I'm all the way in Tahunga, and I'm so excited to be here because this is, well, I'm getting lashes for the first time since 2020. Also, this is one of my longtime followers at the Valley Girl Lashes, and she's been DMing me for the longest to get my lashes done, so I'm so excited to meet her and to get my lashes done. So here's the before. She's beautiful, but I'm so excited. All right, let's get it. I'm going for like a natural gal look. This is um a set she did that like made me obsessed with her. Can you guys see that? Oh, come on. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. But I need like a little zoom too because um I have to do makeup and glam and stuff. So I need them to be like, but I feel like she's going to get me right. So let's go see. Feels good to open my eyes. Ooh, shit. Ooh, shit. Okay, you ready? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I am. I just got nervous. I'm so scared. Don't be nervous. I'm gonna love them. Okay, okay. They Let's feel see. so light, which is nice. Let me see. Can you see? Oh my gosh. Wow, I haven't had lashes in so long. Okay, you guys, my lashes are done. Hopefully, it's not too bright and you can see. I'm with Foxy. Hello. Foxy lady. We are on a lunch date. A perfect way to end. It's so loud right now. But I just want to show you guys my lashes. And my baby. Boo, thank you. Thank you. Um, and this is a perfect end to my, I've been doing a maintenance, beauty maintenance week. Ooh, so yeah. we got facials, we got nails, nails we got yes. hair, we got lashes. We did it all, babe. We had therapy, we, went, we worked out. We did a lot of things. But yeah, I would say a huge part of my like self-care weeks is definitely time with my girlfriends, Fox and Javi. Like I always have to have lunch with them at least once a week or see them once a week. That's so important. And I love that we make that happen. Come on, baby. I love her. I love you. That's my girl. So we're gonna eat and um then she has to go to work. 
And then I have to go pack. I have to pack. Do they know where you're going yet? No. Ooh. They don't know where I'm going yet. But I'm gonna say it at the end of this video because by the time I get there, this video will, I mean, by the time they see this video, I'll already be there. Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you guys when I close out at home, but I'll see you when I'm packing and we're gonna go enjoy lunch. We love you. Okay, friends. This is officially the end of this video. This was such a beautiful video and I hope you guys got to see how well I take care of myself and I hope it inspires you to take care of yourself. Like I said in the beginning of this video, even if you can't afford to go out and do all of these things, it took me a long time to be able to do this, you can still do it in the comfort of your own home. So get creative and share with me something you like to do in the comments below that makes you feel taken care of and is a part of your beauty maintenance routine. I love you guys so much. I'm feeling amazing and I'm so ready for my trip to China and Singapore with Shein, and I'm bringing T-Bell as my plus one. Ah, so stay tuned for all the content. Make sure you guys are locked. Hit that big juicy red button to subscribe to you below to be part of the confidence crew. It is time, baby, okay? No more hesitation. Give this video a thumbs up and tap in with me on Instagram and TikTok to see all the dope content coming your way. I love you guys and go spoil yourself. You deserve it. Mwah.